welcome to all today i am going to explain about parenchyma so what is parenchyma it is a simple permanent tissue which is made up of it only one type of cells which perform a specific function so parenchyma is a tissue tissue means group of cells the cells which are present in this parenchyma this tissue are same type of cells and they are going to perform a specific function okay let us see the characteristic features of parenchyma so this parenchyma is the most common simple permanent tissue that means it is present more in plant body in mostly in different different parts okay right and it consists of living cells the cells which are present in parenchyma are living cells and they are arranged loosely okay you see here in this diagram these are the parenchyma the cells and these parenchyma the cells they are arranged loosely that's why you can see the spaces between cell to cell so these are the spaces and those spaces are known as intercellular spaces okay right what is the main function of parenchyma the main function of parenchyma is storage of food material right right okay now let us take uh, chlorenchyma what is chlorenchyma sometimes parenchyma contains chloroplasts that is called as chlorenchyma so chlorenchyma means parenchyma with chloroplasts it looks green in color because of the presence of chloroplasts okay and it performs photosynthesis and uh, you know the process of photosynthesis it prepares uh, plant prepares food material right so chlorenchyma means parenchyma with chloroplasts what is the function of chlorenchyma to perform photosynthesis and preparation of food material for example you see here in this diagram these are the parenchyma the cells which consists of chloroplasts so now this is called as chlorenchyma right and uh, next one erenchyma erenchyma means parenchyma with large air cavities so whenever the air cavities are very large that parenchyma is called as erenchyma erenchyma okay and this erenchyma it is present in aquatic plants aquatic plants means hydrophytic plants what are the examples of hydrophytic plants for example uh, lotus pistia icarnia that means water hyacinth etc are the hydrophytic plants in those hydrophytic plants we can see erenchyma as tissue so what is the use of erenchyma as tissue so this erenchyma as tissue helps in the floating of the plant okay so here in this diagram you can see large air cavities in parenchyma which is called as erenchyma okay so this is all about parenchymatous tissue